We understand there was about 119 crew and passengers on the uh, plane at the time when it was shot at. It was on its way from China, and it was uh, just making its descent into Seoul's Incheon Airport, which is um, about an hour's drive west of the city centre. Now, according to a a South Korean military official, uh, two Korean soldiers uh, who were just close to the Gyodong Island uh, near the North Korean border saw the plane, they thought that it may have been a North Korean military plane, and then opened fire at it with their rifles. Now, we understand from that uh, same source that there was no damage to the uh, aircraft itself. It's unknown if the passengers even knew that they were being fired at uh, by uh, South Korean military personnel. But certainly this is going to send a shockwave through the military itself. The fact that this mistake could have happened and the fact that it could have been so deadly. Reggie? At this point, are, are the government saying anything about how it could have happened, how, how a passenger jet clearly marked as one could have been mistaken for something else? At this point, they're not being drawn on that at all, but you could imagine there would be an intense investigation ongoing, and uh, certainly you would hope that there would be a little more training uh, for certain soldiers to know the difference between two planes. An Aziana plane would have been marked as such. It has uh, a particular marking on its uh, tail fin, as all uh, commercial jets do, and of course they do look very different to a North Korean military jet. So certainly I think there will be more training in future, but it does show just how tense things are. It shows how jittery the South Korean military is at this point. Things are very tense, and uh, North Korea has said that it would carry out a threat. So this is obviously why they're on edge.